I'm going to be showing you guys how to add texture to your backgrounds. So today I'm going to be adding this texture onto this background. So the first thing I need to do is basically just pull my model out of the background. So I'm just going to create a new layer and then stamp it. I'm going to use a plugin for this and it's going to be Topaz Labs and it's going to be the Topaz Remask. So this is a super easy way to take your subject out of the background and I'm going to show you how I do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my blue brush and I'm just going to just go around my subject like this. Okay, so after I've gone around my subject, I'm going to select my red brush, my red fill, and I'm just going to fill the area that I do not want. And then I have my area filled in that I want with green, so I'm just going to hit Compute Mask. And I'm just going to run through, and you can see it's created a mask for me. And I can switch to my keep, and that kind of gives me another view of it. But I'm going to go back to my mask. So I'm going to get my green brush. So I'm on my green brush, which means it's going to add um, more into the mask. So if I zoom in, so you can see it's not perfect. So what I'm going to do with my green brush is I'm just going to click, and it's going to add more of the image back. And I'm just going to work around the entire outside of my image. So what's great is I can actually um, switch over to my keep and I can actually um, zoom in a little bit more. I can check to see how well it's masked. Like right here I can see there's a small area where it kind of over masks so I'm just going to switch back to my red and just give a click and then I'll kind of bring it back in. And I'll just keep doing that. If I see an area where it's gone too much I can bring it back in okay so that looks pretty good so now I can hit OK and it's going to create the mask for me so if I hide these two layers you can see there's the mask and now I'll put these two back. What I'm going to do now is um, just hide this layer. I'm going to go on my background layer. And I'm just going to switch to my, my paint tool. And I'm going to select a color in here. So I'm going to select this color, the background color. And now I'm going to come over. I'll turn these two off. And now I'm going to create a new layer underneath my top one. And I'm just going to fill this in. And you can see it's basically, if I turn these two off, it looks pretty much almost the same. There's some gradation going on, but I'm going to actually fix that. So let's bring these two back. And next thing I'll do is we're going to create a curves adjustment. And I'm just going to bring this up a little bit like that. And now I'm going to hit Control-I. And it's going to 
basically just fill everything in with black. And now what I'm going to do is I can paint, bring up my brush tool, and make sure I'm on my white. And then I'm going to go with opacity of like two. And then I'm just going to start painting. And I'll just constantly just kind of just go back to this one just to just to see what changes I need to make. So I think I may actually with this curves layer, I may actually just bring up my exposure just a little bit. Just make this go a little bit faster. Alright, and then I'm also going to add um, an exposure. I'll just bump this up just a little bit. And then I'll hit Control I, and that'll fill it in. And then with white, I'll paint where I want to increase the brightness. All right, so I like that. So next thing I need to do is bring in my texture layer. So control A, control copy, let's bring it in. I'm gonna create a new layer um, right above my background. And then I'll paste this. Um, so now I need to change the blend mode. And basically, it's just going to combine my background and the texture. So you can kind of mess around with um, the different blending modes. And then you can also change the opacity. So I'm going to stick with overlay and I think opacity around 65 is good. And then I'm just going to bring these two, the exposure and curves, I'm going to bring it below um, this one and I'm just going to create a clipping mask and it's going to basically just tie um, those two to my um, background fill. And then for this one, I'm going to add, um, add another curves and just going to increase it just a little bit. And again, for this one, I'm just going to create a clipping mask and it's going to tie that to only that layer. Okay, so I think that looks good. And then the last thing I need to do is select it on my texture layer. I'm going to add a blur to this. Um, it'll just kind of make it look more natural, it'll kind of give it um, more of like a shallow depth of field. So I'm going to go to my filter, go to my blur, and then my Gaussian blur. And you kind of mess around with the the blur of this. I don't want to blur it too much, so I'm probably gonna just go like 
3.5. I like that. So hit OK. And it's good. Now if we go back to our original image, that's our original one. And then with our texture, it looks like that. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe. And then also, just to mention, on our website we give away a bunch of Photoshop tutorials. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. Um, I'll put a link up on the screen for that. Alright, thanks guys.